What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have another BIOS overview. This is MSI's Click BIOS 5 running on the Z270 SLI Plus. This BIOS is pretty much the same. Um, they've been running Click BIOS for a while. We saw it on their Z170 boards as well as the X99 boards and now we have it on the Z270 boards. The, this BIOS is also going to be pretty much the same on all of uh, MSI's Z270 boards. Obviously the different series you'll see different skins. This is a pro series board so it's pretty much just black and white. Nothing all that flashy which is fine for us. Um, as long as the BIOS does its job that's what we're worried about. So when you first get into the BIOS here this is sort of easy mode and um, for a lot of beginners and, and just people in general this makes it so easy to set a lot of things so you don't have to dive you know deep down into the BIOS so over here we have OC Genie you can turn this on and instantly overclock your system if you want and then over here we have XMP now our memory that we're running is just like stock DDR4 so it does not have an XMP profile but if it did we could just click here and it would just instantly enable that profile very easy to do and that's one of the first things most builders will do when they go ahead and power on their system for the first time is enable that XMP profile. Over here we have all of our information so we can see everything that we are running as well as temperatures and, and things like that. And then our boot priority, this is so easy. All you have to do is drag, oops, drag and drop right there and that's how you can easily set your boot priority. You don't have to you know change everything around so I really like that. And then over here we have some tabs. So CPU just shows us all of our information on our CPU. Memory shows the information on the memory and what we're running. Storage, same thing, just one drive in there, you can see. Fan info, this will go ahead and show our fan curves for the fans that we're running. We only have one fan, which is our CPU fan. And we go into settings here. Oops, there we go. We go into settings and that brings up this really cool kind of graphical interface showing all your fans and you can configure the curve if you want. Um, you can set them all to full speed, all the defaults, you can kind of do all that stuff. So you can see the temperatures as well as your, your speeds in real time. And down here we have all of our voltages as well. And then under help, this just shows you um, you know your OC Genie 4 settings. So if we turn it on, we could go all the way up to 4.8 gigahertz on our 7700K and then all of our shortcuts. So you can see all that kind of stuff if you need it. M flash that allows you to easily flash your BIOS. Favorites, um, you can set favorites so that when you go back into your BIOS, they're all right here. You don't have to dive down deep to get those certain settings that you want. Hardware monitor is the same thing we had up as before. So you have all of this information and you can set again your fans and, and everything up if you want. And um, here are some settings that you can change. So your LAN option ROM, you can turn it on and off. HD audio controller, turn it on and off. Um, you can switch between AHCI and RAID mode for your storage. And here you can set up your M.2s. We have none installed, so obviously that's grayed out. And uh, CPU fan warning control, you can turn that on or off if you want. And then BIOS log review. So if you make any changes in the BIOS, BIOS, they'll show up here. And I really like this because every time you overclock or you change a setting, Sometimes something messes up and it's just not right. Here you can see what you've changed be like, okay, that's the change I made. I'm gonna undo that change and I'm gonna go back. So this, this makes it really easy to see all of that. And uh, that's it for the easy mode. So we'll go into advanced mode. You can just click up here or hit F7. And now we're in advanced mode. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this screen here um, on a lot of the click bioses from MSI. They all pretty much look like this. So under settings, this is all of like your main settings. So we can see our system status in here. Um, you know, just like the date and the drives we have and system information. And under advanced, this is like all of these settings for like USB and everything like that. So under USB, you can turn like legacy USB on and off and, and things like that. Um, you know, turn, you know, SATA, hot plugs on and off, you know, all of the like stuff that has to do with the motherboard itself and its connectors, you can turn all of that on and off if you want. We'll go back out here. Under boot, uh, you can set your boot priority if you want and things like that. Under security, you can set administrator password. If, so if you don't want somebody going into your BIOS, you can set a password for that. And then save and exit. And there's two things I really like about the save and exit screen here. First is we have restore defaults. So We've all, again, all had that time where we've messed up our BIOS and we just want we just want to start over. We, we've gone too deep and we've tuned it too much and it's just messed up. 
Um, so restore defaults, you just click it and it easily restores all your defaults much easier than clearing your CMOS, which completely clears everything out. This just goes back to the default settings and especially in this motherboard, which it doesn't have a clear CMOS button, um, restore defaults definitely works rather well. And then secondly, we have boot override. So I love boot override because when I'm installing Windows from a flash drive, I just want to boot to that flash drive once and then when Windows does its restart during install, I don't want it to boot to that flash drive again, um, so I don't have to take it out. It's just, it saves time, so boot override is great to see. We'll move into OC settings, and this is everything to do with overclocking, so you can change all of your ratios and your frequencies and everything within here, as well as your DRAM configuration, so you can set all of your timings here, you know, for all of your memory, but again, if you're using XMP profile, boom, just click it right up there, and all of your voltages as well, so you can set all of your voltages um, of course, that's very important for overclocking. And then down under CPU specifications, so you can see all of the information on your CPU and then everything that it's running, obviously. And memory Z, again, this shows your SPD information for each DIMM that you have installed. And then CPU features, so this is where you can turn on, on and off things. So you can turn hyper threading on and off, you know, all of these things that you can go ahead and turn on and off that have to do with your CPU and that is pretty much the OC settings again M flash this allows you to easily flash your BIOS super super easy OC profile um, this is just saving profiles so if you have a specific overclocking profile that you want um, that you only want to use certain times or you just want to you want to make sure you save those settings that gave you that great overclock you can go ahead and save everything here you can also load and save to USB which is great so you know if your friend has the exact same board running the exact same setup you'd be like okay I have this great set it you know settings that I set up I'm gonna bring my flash drive over we can load them you know you don't have to like tell them what you know what exact setting to, to set you can just bring the flash drive over and do it Hardware monitor is that same graphical hardware monitor that we had before. And then board explorer. So this is, we've seen this on a lot of boards. I think starting in Z170, we started to see this. And this just shows you information about what's going on. So if we hover over here, we can see our CPU is our Core i7-7700K. Over here, we have our memory. Um, and you can see that. Um, we can see our graphics card here, NVIDIA. Uh, graphics card running at x16 speed so it just kind of gives you information like uh, <laughs> if we hover over here we can see our one uh hard drive we have installed which is the ozz arc 100 it just gives you information about what's going on and helps you learn a little bit as well uh which is pretty cool and that is basically it guys uh for this bios again it's super easy to use it's very snappy it, like it's not slow or it doesn't take um, you know time to go from screen to screen it's very easy to use um, so if you have any questions about the click bios 5 from MSI again this is running on the Z270 SLI plus motherboard go ahead and leave those questions in the comment section below till next time catch you guys later